Okay, let's begin. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. It's nice oh, to have evening. you one more time. Welcome, welcome. How are you? You ready? Yes, sir. Oh, that's wonderful. We have this beautiful day, which is Thursday. We're going to have our last class of this week, as you may know. Tomorrow, we're going to have no classes. Yeah, which is pretty good. Uh-huh. And also tomorrow we have a big celebration here in El Salvador, right? I pretty much Mexico and also Central America. Yeah, I guess. I don't know what, what happened with Panama, but in Central America, yes, we have all these countries celebrating tomorrow. Okay, so welcome. It's nice to have you all. And I hope everybody is okay at home, ready to learn something new. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here people okay if you have a question before we begin no let's begin let me show you today we're gonna have this um class number 12. should i have a question teacher what is that you tell me it's regarding to the message that i brought you on whatsapp do you know about the <laughs> If we need to to write as exactly, um, do you remember what was the question that I tell you or no? Oh, yes. <laughs> somehow, yeah. Somehow, yes. Yes, it is. It is like you. Oh, let me check because I don't remember exactly really. That Good was uh, if we need to have your pronoun or we need to use a noun to be able to have the discourse. Yes, I thought I am sorry to you. I don't remember exactly, but oh, okay. Let me see. It says, "Oh goodness, let me check." Um. Oh, oh. When it comes to like, would you ask her? Yes, yes. You can use the subject pronoun if you want to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh. just to substitute. Mm -hmm. Remember that subject mm -hmm. pronouns works like that. They substitute names. So sometimes uh, we can use them as well. Yeah, that's good. Perfect. Okay, wonderful. Thank you so much. That's good. Uh, okay, it's class number 12. Okay, thank you. So this is, we're going to work with past perfect, um, with positive and negative statements on today's class. Yes, I hope that we can have a chance to work as much as possible in this one, okay? Let's take a look of the material. Here we have this picture. We're gonna have this young lady whose name is Selena. Hello, Carla Selena. Good evening, how are you? Welcome. Good evening, teacher, thank you. Oh, that's, that's, that's good. You ready? Please tell me, what do you see here in the picture? Describe the picture. Where are they? What are they doing? Uh, what time is it? Where are they inside or outside? Um, yep. Okay. Please, go ahead. Maybe they are fish, the carp or the lajanta. The time, it's maybe evening. At evening, and I see a house, tree. That's it. Very good. Okay, how many boys do you see in the picture? Uh, sorry. How many boys? How many boys do you see in the picture? Ah, uh, two girls. Oh, okay. So, uh, are there are there are there boys in the picture? No. No, there aren't, right? Thank you. Well, very good. Okay. Um, thank you so much. Who who do you think, um, this woman is? <laughs> is this her friend? Most attention. She looks like her mom. Yeah. That's her, right? That's the way she looks. Yeah, she looks like she's wearing. What's she wearing? What's she wearing? Uh huh. <laughs> a batu. 
Yeah, exactly, right? And also pajamas. And also pajamas, right? That's true. Okay, we're going to have the video related to this content for today. Let me see. Yes, we have a video. So I want you to listen, take notes about the content, and then we can practice this one all together. Let's listen and watch. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to form past perfect statements. We'll learn the structure and practice. So let's get started. In our previous lesson, we learned about the past perfect. And it's always important to keep that in mind. So we use the past perfect to express an event that occurred before another event in the past. Uh, today, what we're going to do is we're going to learn about the structure. So let's get started. I would like to start by making positive statements. So the first thing that I would like to point out is uh, just the structure, and then we'll see how that structure works. Let me just make this a little bit bigger so that you can see clearly. So in order to form the past perfect, we're going to have a subject, and then that is going to be followed by an auxiliary. That happens to be hat, as you can see there, color in red. And then after that, we. Uh, we're going to follow the past participle of the verb. So we're going to include the past participle of the verb. And then finally, we will have a complement to that sentence. In the example, we see that we're using the past event and the past perfect event. And that's because we're combining two tenses together and we're using those accordingly. So as you can see, we, we see the past event here. And then we have the past perfect event as a continuation of that. But I mentioned that um, we, th these sentences can be separate or they can be together. So let's look at the examples at this time. Um, I mentioned that we're going to have some sort of subject. So we're going to say someone. All right. And I'm going to borrow that second example that you see there at the bottom. Uh, this follows the axular verb. This, in this case, is going to be hat. And then this is going to be this is going to follow the past participle of whatever verb that I'm using. So in this case, uh, the verb it's steal, all right, and the past participle of that verb it's stolen. Okay, so someone had stolen my wallet. Just to emphasize uh, what we're doing, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, try to see if I can if I can point this out in the right. Place so that we can clearly see what is it that I'm talking about. So the subject is someone. All right, so I should color this maybe blue. It's the same thing as it's in red. The auxiliary verb is in red, and then the past participle is uh, the verb that we're going to use in uh, the past participle. So in this case, I'm using the color uh, green. So let's look at the other examples that are on this chart up here. I have put my stuff in my locker. So first of all, we have the subject is I. It follows the auxiliary verb had. And then the past participle of the verb, in this case, is put. Um, and then we will include a complement. I have put my stuff in my locker. My stuff in my locker will be the complement. Um, finally, we have another sentence uh, that we want to emphasize. So let me do that right now. OK, so we have. I have forgotten to lock the locker. So uh, once again, we have the subject in that sentence is I, excluder verb have, the past participle of the verb forget, it's forgotten, and then the complement becomes to lock the locker. Now quickly, what I want to explain is how to make negative statements in the past perfect. Let me go ahead and um, give a couple of examples here. Um, there are no negative sentences in this little chart, so I'm going to make those and I'm going to try to um, <clears throat> make sense of them. So let me first explain the structure of that. Uh, so the structure to make negative sentences, negative statements or negative sentences. It's pretty much the same thing. Um, the only thing that changes is that instead of had, we're going to include hadn't. Uh, by the way, this is also the same thing as saying had not. So you might see that either by saying had not or hadn't. Now, the most common thing to do is that we will use the contraction. All right, so most of the time, you'll see contractions to that effect. So 
So let me give you then a few examples, and then um, I'm going to have you do a few examples as well. All right. So I'm going to try to see if I can fit those in into the structure that we see here. Subject is I. In this case, I mentioned we're going to use Hadden. All right. So let me just make sure that we're using the appropriate colors here, just to make sure that we're understanding what we're doing. So. Uh, in that case, that's the auxiliary verb, uh, and in this case, because it's a negative, we, we're going to say hadn't. Um, then we use the past participle of that verb. Uh, so in this case, um, it's lock, uh, the past participle that is locked. Um, maybe another quick example that you can probably relate to is the following. So I'm going to go ahead and write that. I hadn't finished my work, so I couldn't leave work at, at that time. So what I would like for you to do next is I would like for you to Practice these concepts, practice making positive statements following this structure, and practice making negative statements. You can follow this structure. Thank you. So here we have this um, quick explanation. Let's begin with some exercises in here. Let's take a look of this uh, conversation, please. We're going to have complete the conversation, use the simple pass of the past continuous of the verb given. Okay. Let's see. Um, guess what happened to me last night? I was getting into bed and I, what is next? Heard it. Okay. Thank you. It's pass. Heard very good when I heard a loud, a loud noise like a gunshot in the street. Okay, then the phone then the phone. Run. Anybody exactly wrong. Very good. Wrong. Who was it? It was Luisa. He has, oh, Jesus, she always calls me late at night. But this time, she had a reason. She, bro, was driving. Drove. Yes, was driving. She was driving right past my apartment when she Look. okay when she got a flat tire it was very late so while we <laughs> this bit is good uh-huh was was or where? What well, we're, we're changing. changing. Yes, we're changing. Okay. We're changing, yes. Okay. Changing the tire, I. Invite it. Invite it. Very good. Thank you. So, uh, Selena. Hello. Invited. So Selena, do you remember this is this uh this story or this situation? Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen this kind of thing before? <laughs> Selena. Hello, Selena, are you here? Oh yes, she's here. Okay, Selena, ha have you ever seen this uh, like situation before? Yes, teacher. Oh, where? Um, uh -huh. tell me. Here in the class or somewhere else? Uh, 
Pedro. In my home teacher. Oh, oh, like, Yes, when I was in my bed. Oh, And okay. I remember at eight Okay, thank years you. old. Oh, that's good. That's good. Do me a favor, Selena. Read the, the conversation, please. Just let's see. Okay, this. Um, guess what happened to me last night as I was getting into bed? I heard a loud noise like a gun chop in the street. Then the iPhone ran. Who was it? It was Luisa. She also called me late at night, but this time she had a reason. She was driving right past my apartment when she got a flat tire. It was very late, so while we were changing the tire and I invited her to spend the night. Thank you. Okay, so now do you remember this this thing? Like where you saw this one? I want to show you so in case you, uh, just for you to have it, okay? Oh, Jesus, give me a minute. Okay. Okay. Now, do you remember? <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> so now, Selena, look at this picture, right? It, it sounds like quite similar to this one, right? Yes or no? Well, for me, yes. Okay, it sounds like it's quite, quite similar, okay? Thank you. So what are we using here, um, Giovanni? What kind of content are we using here in this conversation? I'm sorry, teacher. What do you mean with what kind of... Oh, like like tense. Tenses. Oh, okay. uh, actually, I can see that we were using both, like past continuous and simple past. Exactly. Very good. Thank you so much. Let's carry on because I think I have another one for you. Let me see. Okay. Thank you. Oh, yes. Let's begin with you, Sara. Hello, Sara. Welcome. How are you? Hello. Are you happy today? Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, what are you going to do tomorrow? It, it, it's Independence Day. You have something special for tomorrow? Uh, well, I'm going to watch my sister dancing. Oh, really? <laughs> That's yeah. true. That's good. Are you gonna help her? Like, like, are you gonna bring her like some water or some stuff? Yes. Oh, that's good. Uh, and where is that? Uh, in Tecoluca. Tecoluca. What is what is that place, San Miguel? Uh, San Vicente. Oh, San Vicente. Oh, that's very good. Toda la gente. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I visited San Vicente and like, I think that was in 2018. I went there for a business trip. Yeah, please uh, help me with uh, letter B, please. Thank you. Don't tell me while you were sitting in the waiting room. Thank you so much, very good. We're sitting. Correct me if I do a mistake, right? Thank you. Thank you. Well, if I make a mistake, it's, oh, jeez. Correct me if I make a mistake. Karen, Elizabeth, Bernal, thank you. Continue. Thank you so much, Karen. Uh huh. Teacher, I have a problem this morning. I only listen because, um, Oh, yes. I'm sorry. I apologize. Are you better now? Are you better now? Yes, teacher. Everything is good? Everything is going well? I have three days. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Oh, it's nice to hear your voice, okay? And I hope everything is going well, okay? Okay. Thank you. It's nice to have you. And I apologize, okay? Sometimes I, I forget this thing. I get too emotional when I'm requesting participation. Okay, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Jenny. Thank you, Jenny. Carry on, please. Here. What is next? Don't tell me while you were sitting on in the waiting room, you 
Simple past or past continuous? Was meeting. Okay, let's say someone interesting. I know how you are, but um, mm. I don't know, teacher. Sorry. Yeah, just tell me past continu a past continuous or simple past. Um, simple past. That is correct. Very good. So, what is the verb? Oops. What is what is the verb? What is the verb here? Meet. Oh, Meet. Thank you so much. Somebody help you over there, okay? Yeah, very good. Met. Yeah, met. Yeah, very good. Thank you. Continue, please. Um, Maria Santos Lopez Lopez. Continue, please. Let me check. Yes, Giovanni, that is correct. Mm -hmm. Lopez Lopez, Maria Santos. Hello. Okay. Jen Janet Carolina Rivera. Hello, Janet Carolina Rivera. Can you hear me? No. Can you participate? No. What about you, um, gentleman whose name is, let me see, Roberto. Thank you, Roberto. Letter A here. Well, you wrong. Uh, uh, let me see. Uh, well, you are wrong this time. The dentist. Uh, let me see. The dentist. Has clean, cleaning. Okay, remember that this is just. Well, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, very good, very good. Was cleaning. Perfect, that is correct. Okie dokie, was cleaning. Um, cleaning, thank you. Continue, please, Roberto. Was cleaning my teeth when she sub, sub the lead. was getting calling away for an emergency. Okay. That is incorrect. I'm sorry. Okay. The, the My correct one is exactly. It's good. Exactly. Okay. Very good. Very good. Right. So okay. it's like he was doing something when he got a call, right? <laughs> okay. Okay. Then at the end, look at the end. Okay, read the end, please. I'm sorry. No, okay, this calling away from an emergency. So I just sat there waiting for two hours with my mouth having open. <laughs> like that's crazy. not good, right? <laughs> no, that's not right. Eh? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Imagine, <laughs> imagine somebody with two oh, hours. Yeah. That's like this. That's a lot of time. Two hours? Yeah. yeah oh, that's, that's, too much, <laughs> that's too much time. Yeah. Yes, that's true. Thank you so much. Okay. Very good. Olga. Hello, Olga Gomez. Good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. It's Bye. nice to have you one more time. Do me a favor, please. Read the conversation. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm so late eating. I was at the dentist. Don't tell me while you were sit sitting in the waiting room, you meet you meet someone interesting. I know how are how you are, Matt. Well, you grown this time. The dentist was cleaning my teeth when she suddenly got suddenly got call away for an emergency. So I just sat there waiting for two hours with my mouth hanging open. Thank you so much, very good. Yes, let me get the material, thank you. That was very good, right? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, jeez. Okay, give me a minute. 
Okay, we're gonna work with the following activity, which is this one. Before I do that, um, just let me show you. Here we go. We have this one. Um, think of a story that happened um to you or someone you know. Choose one title of the titles below or create your own. Yes. For example, a scary experience, right? I'll never forget that day. Yes. So the first thing is like you think about a story that happens to you or to somebody else. Um and here we have these titles, right? I was I was really lucky. I can't believe it happened. So we have these four titles here that you can take one of those. Um and then you need to work with your story. We have this one. First, answer these questions, right? So the idea is like when you write the story, you focus on these four questions. The number one is who was involved. The number two is who, um, when did it happen? Where did it happen? And what happened? Okay. Like the example here, you see here we have a title, right? I was, I was really lucky. Yeah. And then we have last year, Okay, last year, um, sir, when did it happen? Yes, I took a trip to see my grandparents. This, uh, this here, um, sir, who was involved? I was sitting in the airport. I was sitting in the airport for my flight when a storm hit. Okay. This one, um, sir, where did it happen? Yes. And then at the end, and all the flights were canceled, luckily, and then this person adds more information, right? So you see this last one here answers what happened. So what you need to do is write a short story. Yes, you can use these titles here or you can uh, make your own, yeah? And you need to write something that happens to you uh, in the past and also like use the present uh, I'm sorry, the past simple and the past continuous to communicate that. I'm going to give you, let's say, like seven minutes to do this, and then I will hear your participation between 10 and 10, and 10 minutes. Do you, do you understand? This one is in your notebook. So you get your notebook and write in your notebook. Yes, I don't know if you have a question about this activity. You you got it everything yes no questions and at all. Teacher, but we're gonna use the 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 past the past continuous and the the past and the past, past simple continuous. yes past okay. simple okay. and past continuous okay. Mm -hmm. It like a short story right not something big. The only thing you need to be like focus as well is that the uh, sentences you uh write in your in your story those needs. Needs those uh, need to answer these four questions. Who was involved? When did it happen? Where did it happen? And what happened? Yes? Yep. Yes, teacher. Perfect. Thanks for clarified because I was going to start it once upon a time. <laughs> <laughs> there was a there was an ogre <laughs> living in a swamp. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Okay, so I'm going to give you like seven and ten uh, minutes so you can write it, right? And after that, I will request participation so you can uh, tell me your story, right? Okay, yes. Um. In the meantime, I will take the attendance. Yes. In the meantime, I will take the attendance. So when you hear your beautiful name, say present and um, say I'm here, okay? Also, let me check the chat. Okay, Oscar. Okay, Oscar, thank you so much. And also, Karen Elizabeth Bernal, it's nice to have you one more time. Thank you for letting me know. Thank you, thank you so much.
Okay, I will send this information here on, on the WhatsApp group so you can have it. And um, you don't miss, um, what is this one? Okay, I don't know if this one is, uh, I think I don't. The chair. Yes. Uh, oh, I can say desfile. Desfile, it was like a parade, it's not a parade. Parade, okay. Thanks. I think that's that's the the word we are looking for. Okay, I send um uh, the picture here on WhatsApp group because I need to open the attendance so I can take it. Okay, so uh, in case you wanna check one more time the uh, instructions you have then over there. Yes, I will take the attendance. Just give me uh some minute. Well, one minute, so I can get your names. Yes, tomorrow is Independence Day. Go out and celebrate if you have the chance, right? If you gotta work, I'm sorry for you. Let's go to work and get some money. Because now everything is expensive. Blanca Maria Gonzalez Urias. Present. Thank you so much and welcome. It's nice to have you. Edgar Fernando Portillo Cabrera. Edgar Fernando Portillo Cabrera. No, he isn't. What about um, Giovanni Stanley Flores Salazar? I'm here. Wonderful. Nice to have you one more time. Janet Carolina Rivera Villanueva. Janet Carolina Rivera Villanueva. No, she isn't. Jose Lino Alvarenga Gomez. I'm here to chat. Wonderful. It's nice to have you, gentlemen. Karen Elizabeth Bernal de Avelar, you told me already. Thank you so much. Karen Yvette Villanueva Guzman. Present teacher. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you. Carla Selena Hernandez Guevara. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Maria Santos Lopez Lopez. Present teacher. Perfect. Nice to have you. Marlene Elizabeth Valle Barahona. Teacher Marlene me escribió que dice que Tenía enferma la niña y el celular oh. se le arruinó. No tenía oh. manera de comunicarse. No, oh, I'm sorry to hear about it. Okay, thank you so much. So she is not here. Thank you, Jenny. That's very nice of you. Michelle Beatriz Díaz Guzmán. Michelle Beatriz Díaz Guzmán. No, she isn't. Neftali Antonio Mejía Miranda. Present, sure. Thank you, gentlemen. It's nice to have you. Olga Marleni Gomez Rios. Thank you so much, Olga. It's nice to have you. Oscar Alejandro Santana Reyes, you raw in the chat. Thank you. Roberto Eduardo Escamilla Garcia. Uh, present teacher. Nice to have you one more time. Sara Thank Elisa you. Belloso Hernández. Present. Thank you so much. Wendy Cecilia Molina Rosales. Present. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you again. And Jenny Carolina Ardon Cruz. Present. Thank you so much. Perfect. Okay. Um. Yep. That was the attendance for today. Okay. Let me see. What is the other one? Let me check the chat on soon, really quick. If I got a message, no. Okay. Let's get back to this one. Yeah, if you finish, right, let me know so I can hear your uh story. Yeah. Uh if you finish already, right? If not, keep working. You still have some time so you can work on it. Yes. Uh I love writing. Writing is one of my favorite things in English because it's really challenging. Yeah. You need to think and then write. And that's that's heavy. It's not easy thing to write uh, stuff in English, you know, like full sentences. And these topics you are seeing right now, these ones are somehow complex. Yeah. Oh, because um, it's not a piece of cake. Yep. So don't forget, the first one is who was involved, when it happened, where did it happen, and what happened. The order, it doesn't matter, right? So you can start, for example, here last year, so you answer, oh, when did it happen? Yes.
if you have a question let me know about it um the past perfect and then we're gonna have the past simple here we have the past continuous and the past simple as well so we have so we have two. Oh, i love it this thing is good 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 okay Mm -hmm. um, let me check Jesus okay uh, this is about writing if you finish just uh, let me hear the way you did it okay I remember this is short, right? So, if you if you if you want, you can write just I don't know, maybe five or six sentences, or I don't know, maybe four if you want to. Yeah, the only thing I need is like you figure it out. What is the structure of this thing, right? How do we, how do we make this thing, right? As you may know, at this level that you have, um, you should be always giving details about it. And this this story is is good because it makes you to think about the details of something. Like when you're telling something that happened in the past, uh, you can give details about it, right? Who who was involved? Where where did it happen? And you have this um I don't know information that you need to provide to somebody. Yes, so that means the message gets clear when you're telling the story. Mm -hmm. Lino, have you finished? No? No? Oh, you're thinking about it? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, let, let me hear, please. Go ahead. Okay. I remember a story about, about my friends. When we were going to see his girlfriend a bear defecated on his chair chair and we were laughing the whole way whole way about being unlucky. Do you understand? <laughs> nice and clear. Nice and clear. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus. That was terrible for that person, right? <laughs> that was like <laughs> That was good for you because you you were able to to see that, <laughs> <laughs> but not for him. But not for him. Okay, thank you so much, Lina. It was very nice. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Perfect. Great job. Somebody else. We have two minutes thank left. You, okay, please, Jenny, go ahead. Today I went to see the parade in my neighborhood. And I saw some uh, students dressing beautiful customers. Oh, wearing, right? Wearing, wearing. Oh, very sorry. good. Yes. Oh, parades, you will have a lot of them tomorrow. If you are trying to go out, uh, let's say to work or in I don't my, know. In my neighbor <clears throat> today, uh, is the the turn the turn? Today the uh, all the parvularias. Oh, okay. Las parvularias desfilaron ahora. Here the garden. Grand. Here the garden yes. parade today. Okay. Yes. Tomorrow the 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 other schools. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. Yes. So if you're planning to go to your work tomorrow, go early, because then the traffic is gonna be is gonna be pure hell for sure. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> go early. If you if you have a job and you gotta go to work, like get up early and get there as soon as possible. Because after I mean after like eight a.m., it won't be possible to get there okay uh it's gonna be 
it's going to be a mess tomorrow for sure. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to move on to the next activity for today, which is this conversation. In here, we are going to practice a little bit of this thing that is called um, the past perfect and the past. Okay, so we have this exercise where we need to select one of the two options to complete the conversation. Yes, right? So for example, Andy and I had just gotten engaged. We, um, so we went to a jewelry store to buy a wedding ring. We, what is next? We just ring, had, ring, had just, Oh, okay. Is the present I perfect? Oh, very, very good. Very good. So that's had yes. just chosen, right? Yes, correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops. Yes, a little bit. Okay. I just chosen. Yes? Or I did a mistake. Let me check. No. You're All right. right. No. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Just, just the spelling of that one. Uh, I rang when a man asked, a masked man, what is his name? Came in or had came in? Came in. Came in. Oh, that is correct. The pass came in. Uh huh. After the robber, oh, Jesus, that's good. And this wallet, what is past tense or past perfect? Past perfect. Okay, after the robber and had had taken and the stall and this wallet. I think that because actually I'm able to see that that's the first event and after that something will happen. Yes, so it's going to be, you told me, had taken, right? Yep. Had Definitely. taken, very good. Had taken. Okay. After the robot had taken Anders Wallen, he... Demanded, had demanded. Pass or pass perfect? Demanded. Demanded. Okay, let's see. Thank you, the ring. I. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> what is it? Pass simple or pass perfect? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> That's not good. Uh -huh. <laughs> had just. Had exactly. Had just. Uh, what is this? Handed, I guess, right? Handed. Yeah? Yeah, very good. Had just. Had just. <laughs> to him. When the alarm. Started. It started. Very good. It started. Okay. Or started. Very good. To go off. And the and the rubber. What's going on, teacher? No, this is story is very funny. Like they were just like buying a ring, and then suddenly everything everything changed. You know, and like <laughs> that's so unlucky. Run off. Exactly, simple pass, right? Run off. So that's so unlucky. Yeah, like imagine, that's not not good. Terrible. We were so relieved. But then the sales assistant, <laughs> you see, everything is, is funny. Pass simple or pass perfect? Tall. Yeah, tall. That's like, oh, that's, that's like, the, like, I don't know. It's, For him, um, teacher. I perfect. gave. I gave, okay. Okay. Thank you, I gave. We just told or had just told her is that we wouldn't pay for it. Oh my gosh, it's great. That's getting interesting. Had just told. 
Okay, had just all very good. Had just. Oh, give me a break. Oh, I think it's going to rain. I think it's going to rain. Yeah, the storm is coming. Uh, I'll go to her. Uh, that we wouldn't pay it when the police arrived. Arrived. Very good. Arrived. And um, what's terrible experience? Mm -hmm. What is the next one? Arrested or had arrested? I don't see arrest. Oh, the last oh part. Jesus. Sí, no se ve, right? Okay, lo vamos a dejar hasta ahí. Okay. Thank you. Ayúdeme, please, Sara. Read this conversation. Thank you. Or, well, this story. Andy and I had just gotten engaged, so we went to the to a girly store to buy a getting ring. We had just chosen a ring when a masked man came in. After the robber had taken Andy's wallet, he demanded the ring. I had just handed it to him when the alarm started to go off and the robber ran up. We were so relieved, but then the Salas assistant told us we have we had to pay for the ring because I gave it to the robber. We had just told her that we wouldn't pay for it when the police arrived and arrested us. What a terrible experience. <laughs> yeah, very good. Yes, that was a terrible story, right? Imagine that this happened to you. Oh, that's... So that means you're not getting married, for sure. Yeah, that's a message, right? And and you, you can name it. Because it's, it, it's like, oh, look at this one. No, no, don't get married. Because this is going to happen to you. Okay. Uh, give me a minute, please. Okay. We're going to watch the following video which is, again, a little bit more of this past perfect. Give me a minute. Um, here we go. Listen and watch. In the past perfect tense. So let's get started. I would like to start off by presenting the formula, if you will in order to form past perfect questions. So let me encourage everyone, by the end of this class, you'll learn how to form questions using the past perfect tense. So let's get started. I would like to start off by presenting the formula, if you will, in order to form past perfect questions. So let me include the formula now to this document, and then I'm going to write a couple of questions, and then we're going to try to make sense of those two questions there. So let me start off by having a yes or no question. And then we're going to try to make sense of this particular question, of course, following this formula that we see here. So first of all, um, if we have a yes and no question, I will start by using hath. That's the auxiliary verb. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and color that real fast just to make sure that we are understanding this particular topic. I think I'm using green color there. Yeah. And then uh, this follows the subject. In this case, this happens to be you. So let me put a little blue color there. Uh, then uh, we will use the past participle of the verb that we're using. So in this case, it's the verb study. OK, there we go. Um, and then we have a complement. So that uh, in black, you see that that's the complement of this particular question. So the question is, had you studied English before taking this class? Right. Um, and um, that's how we form a yes or no question. Now let me write a WH question. Uh, and WH questions, well, uh, what that means is that we're going to include a WH word. And we do that whenever we want more information about a particular topic. Uh, this, the way to do it is almost the same thing with the only difference that we will include a WH word. As you can see there, we have a WH word there. 
um, and then had continues to we use the auxiliary had uh, we include the subject uh, in this case we include the past participle of the verb and then whatever complement that exists so the question is where had you studied English before taking this class so maybe the answer to the previous question was yes and then we went and uh, we asked a second question where had you studied English before taking this class so what I would like for you to do now is to practice making lots of questions in order to make sure that you're understanding this particular topic. Thank you so much. Okay, so we have these two questions, right? Let's say, um, have you ever, have you ever found yourself in a dilemma or like an emergency? Tell me about it. Let's begin with uh, Karen, Elisa. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. I'm sorry, Karen. I forgot. Forget about it, okay? Uh, let me see. Um, Jenny. Jenny, please tell me. Have you ever found yourself in a dilemma or an emergency? Tell me about it, please. Hello, Jenny. Jenny. Hi, teacher. Oh, okay. You're okay. Thank you. Sorry, I, I thought you were you were absent. I mean, I thought you were gone. Yeah. yeah. Do you understand the question? Like, have yes, you teacher. ever found yourself in a dilemma or like in a yes. situation, right? That is, I'm I'm comfortable for you. Think I... about one and tell me. I have, I was have a dilemma when I was started in bachillerato, the high school, oh, because I, I don't, I don't decide eh, que carrera, what type of, of profession, I like I like but I my teacher um me hizo un estudio ¿Cómo le puedo decir eso? <laughs> my teachers um like 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 he tests you do, or something like that? Uh, a psychological <laughs> oh. test okay. and I I started mechanica. Oh, mechanics. Mechanics because I I like mm, armar, desarmar. Oh, okay. This is my my favorite uh, profession, but and uh, now I don't work. <laughs> I don't work <laughs> in this profession. <laughs> Yeah. I I play I play with my with the students. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh Jenny, that, oh Jesus, that made me laugh. You know, you know why? You know why? I'm, I'm not normal <laughs> teacher. Sorry. <laughs> no, because because something similar happened to me, Jenny. Yeah, something similar happened to me when I was in high high school. I got graduated um, from mechanical automotriz, so it's quite the same. <laughs> I am. Um, and uh, that don't work. Eight years ago, I I worked in uh, USA. I I yo le daba mantenimiento a unas máquinas. Oh yeah, where? Mm, las máquinas de eh, las que se hace el hilo. Oh. Yes, I know. Uh, and where is that? What is that factory or that company? Mm, it's in Lopango. Uh, oh. uh, it's a Japanese uh, factory. Mm -hmm. I I work with Japanese and I learned to to uh, armar, desarmar. Uh, yes, <laughs> and, uh, and you told us also that that you love it, right? <laughs> yes, 
I work only with men. <laughs> <laughs> How was I, it? I have it... half girl and half a, man, a boy. <laughs> oh, that's very good, right? That's very good. <laughs> I mean, and at the end, it's like experience. Yeah, something that you can tell. Yeah, because somehow it's funny. Like, believe me, I sometimes... Like, I like to learn um, things uh, the other people know, not don't like. I like learn to English. <laughs> <laughs> Some people hate it. Some people hate it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you are doing like uh, the opposite or like you are doing like, yes. oh, I I'm going to do stuff my last like teacher, nobody does. <laughs> my last teacher said, uh, uh, you don't normal, Jenny, you not are normal. <laughs> 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 the, uh, be normal is boring. <laughs> so you are <laughs> so you are always busy doing something or trying stuff. Yes. Oh, that's good. Thank you. What about <laughs> Oh Jesus, thank you so much. That was very good. That was a nice story. That was a nice story, okay. Thank you. Blanca, can you participate, Blanca? Yes or yes, no? Teacher. Okay, same question to you, right? Have you ever found yourself in a dilemma or an emergency? Tell me about it. Um, I don't remember, but... Uh, yes, I remember. In the last... On 2022, my mother was I'm sick and we have to to go into the hospital with her but I couldn't went with with her because I was at at my job and we don't we didn't have uh other person to to how do you say Llevar, take her to the hospital, and then final I have to to went out to my job and take to take take her to the hospital. Oh, that but was it a, was so difficult. Yeah, that was a terrible decision, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That was like with COVID nineteen uh, stuff, no? Yes. But that was something else. Yeah, about COVID. Yeah, that, those, those days were like horrible. Thank yeah. you so much, okay, uh, yeah. for sharing that. Um, thank you. And Giovanni, the last one is for you. Ask, well, tell me about your personal triumphs or success, please. Goodness. Actually, I had one, but now that she said something about COVID-19, oh, goodness, something came into me, and I want to share it. Go um, ahead, please. Actually, that was in 2021, too. <laughs> um, I was in Honduras. Uh, nevertheless, I, I came back in here to Salvador, but I had COVID-19, too. And when I came here, I was like, okay, I need to take care about my health, and I need to do this, 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 and this, right? Because I, I didn't want to infect the rest of my family. Actually, in that time, I didn't know about it. Yes, I guess for for the feelings that I have presented um upon my my body, and when I when I came here to my home, my mom was waiting for me with a cake, and I was wearing my mask, right? And all the the rest of my family was waiting for me, like, hey, come here, we need to eat together, we have the dinner ready for you, and that was like, goodness, what can I do now? I don't want to take off my mask because the feelings are in that I was presented at that time, right? Nevertheless, oh my goodness, uh, that was really hard for me, but I, I removed my mask and I ate with them. Two days uh, after that, I was I was told that I'd had COVID-19 and I thought like, oh my goodness, but I'm so grateful that my family, they were not infected, only me, 
but that was like a dilemma for me in that time because for the feelings that I had and they were waiting for me with food. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was that was awful. That was awful. Yeah, yeah. And, and I'm glad to hear that at the end, like everything went well, right? Because uh that was that was that was awful. I'm sorry to hear about it, okay, but uh, thank you so much for letting us know that everything is okay now. Okay. Um, oh, thank you. Have a wonderful weekend, people. Um, well, enjoy Independence Day tomorrow, and we will see you next week on Monday. Take care. Oh, good night. You. you too. Have a good night. Have a good night. Thank you.